Hello, my name is D. And, and this is Ri. Yes, so uh, <clears throat> today on our first episode, you're going to talk about our um, first trip, I think, to Barcelona. Our first trip together. And yes. we chose Barcelona. Yes, yeah, so why did we choose Barcelona? <laughs> yeah, why? Um, there was something about the city that always attracted me. I mean, it's subtropical, it has a lot of palm trees and, you know, it's uh, very Mediterranean with a lot of food that it's, uh, you know, related to what we like, so seafood in general. And we said, okay, let's do this. We even saw a movie on Netflix <laughs> with Barcelona just to get into yes. the atmosphere for that. Yes, we saw that before uh, and uh, we were curious to see about uh, we were curious to see the town also because uh, of uh, the architectural side because uh, yeah so the city is huge on architecture if you like uh, very pretty buildings you should go there um, but enough of the buildings right now I mean if, if we landed in Barcelona but the first thing we wanted to see was you know the city and we had the chance just uh, in front of our hotel there was this huge I don't know uh, commercial center yeah commercial center right and the funny thing is there was this uh, game center that was built in on I think two levels it had two levels right Uh, yes I think it had yeah it had uh, the first and the the second level so you could play like bowling the first thing you entered and then you went to the game center and actually win prizes at the end of the day you can go and from there you can actually go into the cinema so that was the very fun part of it at the end you can go and buy some sweets <laughs> and then go to the cinema yes we were lucky that we booked near the near the, this uh, mall it was a mall basically <laughs> so. yeah actually it was less but it had a very charming aspect like you know this game center because i don't really see here so many game centers that are being built and just on that day on that sunday seeing so many people there playing with different types of I don't know, uh, devices there. <laughs> it was so much fun just watching them. And yeah, just like yeah. a fair. Just yeah. Just like going to yeah, a fair. Yeah, like a very small fair. That was the atmosphere. Yes, uh, of course. And the lights. I love the lights. Yeah, the very pretty lights. <laughs> yes, like neons or... Yeah, if you like neons, you should go there. <laughs> yes, uh, violet or purple, I think it was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so uh, this covers up the... The neons. <laughs> the neons. Uh, again, next to us, there was, you know, many other buildings, but... It was the Japanese uh, Toyo Ito. Yeah, but Toyo Ito, I think, is Chinese, so it's the Chinese architect. Chinese. Yeah, if, you like, if you're lucky to know Toyo Ito's buildings, uh, you should go there because it's very impressive. Actually, if you want to go there, you can actually book a room there because there's a hotel there. We actually thought about it the first thing, but in the end, what we chose was also as good because our hotel had also a very nice swimming pool on the top of the yes. building. Uh, but that is pretty much every hotel in Barcelona, so you cannot go wrong booking a- any of those hotels with a nice swimming pool on top because it's you know so charming. Yes, we also had the room service uh, short, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were very lazy sometimes and we just thought that, um, you know, just because we knew we were going to walk a lot and we just ordered, so that was really interesting that day, <laughs> we ordered a room service and... No, I'm still thinking about that club sandwich. <laughs> Yeah, so we we said like we want this to be delivered to our room, but we wanted to take it with us. And that was a very huge confusion to the nice Catalan people because usually when you order something on your room, you don't go away with your food. You just eat it there. <laughs> well, uh, I suppose it was something new for them. I mean, uh, we had a bit of uh, communication boundaries. I mean... Uh, uh, I did some 
some of the Spanish talk and yeah because they like Spanish <laughs> if you speak Spanish you're very good well, you're very well there and if you don't like me then they're gonna not talk to you in other languages because they don't care yeah, except for uh, res- the reception is they yeah, uh, they only, talk English yeah only <laughs> the reception and yes. that's about it they will pretend not to understand English <laughs> because they don't like I it I don't know they are uh, very n- Nationalist, those Catalans. I mean, uh, I uh, had a talk with the with the salesman, and he asked me if I speak. Uh, I don't know what. Uh, yeah, Castellano. You know, Catalan. No, no. I said I'm from Romania. So. Uh, yeah, there is no chance that we can learn. You know, Catalan. So sorry, Spanish people. But they know Romania a few words. So Romanian, they know. <laughs> yeah, because you bought, I think, a pendant from that shop, and uh, the guy from that shop. So they had like souvenirs and everything. Yes, yes, yeah. that was the one. And uh, he knew a bit about Romania and our language, but that was about it. So if you don't go near. Where were we on Rambla? So that's on the Rambla Street. Yes. When there are so many tourists, I don't know why, but there are so many tourists even now. You need to speak Spanish. <laughs> yes. Well, my my Spanish was uh, a bit useful. I mean, we could. Uh, I've learned a few words, so we could uh, manage around. So, <laughs> I mean, it's not a hard language. So. Yeah, also a lot of Romanians. So yeah, because we, many people can learn it in high school, and that's okay. Yeah, so from the TV. Or from, from the soap TV. operas. Yeah, yeah, from soap operas. <laughs> if you, if you, <laughs> I mean, uh, I don't know, but uh, I, I was kind of uh, not forced, but uh, inevitably I uh, was soap operas. Yeah. You no. Know? Mexican, Mexican. <laughs> or uh, Argentinian. Uh, we, we actually got to meet a Brazilian. No, from Argentina yeah. he was. An Argentinian tourist. Near uh, the Sagrada. Yeah, and he was, I think we saw him just when we entered the park because he was shooting some pictures, I think. Mm, well, yeah. not, uh, not uh, just at that moment but uh, afterwards I, I you know, think we were on, on the other side yeah, on yeah, the yeah. front side yeah we got the chance to see him again on the other side of the yes, park yes I think so yeah yes. and uh, he was very nice when we asked him to take a picture of us he helped us and of course we took a picture of him we helped him that was nice yeah he, I mean uh, he thought he thought we were Italian <laughs> <laughs> no, well, he was close. Ooh. You can really imagine taking a plane from Argentina just to visit Barcelona, so that's 10 hours. Yeah, he, it is about a 10 hour flight. I mean, uh, you know, uh, every there are a lot of tourists from uh, uh, Asian, the Asian culture is very well yeah, embraced yeah. in Barcelona, so. so uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> especially from Asia, there are so many there, so. I think there's many Koreans, I think I saw many Koreans, especially girls, but um, I'm not sure because I also, usually I compare it to Paris where there are so many Chinese and Koreans, but here I'm not sure if the majority are Koreans or Chinese. I feel they're Koreans, but I'm not sure, especially on the avenues so where the high-end shops are like uh, Hermes or I don't know you know, Longchamp or pretty much any high-end stores so they're on those avenues but yes. then again there are very nice uh, stuff you can see so if you like Gaudi you can see two houses that yes. he built on that avenue we saw just one of the two and it was very short <laughs> yeah we managed to see only I don't know if you saw a quarter of the house I mean the the itinerary was quite short. Yeah, because basically they say there are 13 apartments in Casa Mila, but in the end you just see one apartment from 13 available. <laughs> yeah, and the most interesting part was uh, we couldn't see it. I mean, it was not included in the tour guide. Yeah, basically we had to research it again on YouTube with some other aspects that 
we kind of missed on the short trip there. Uh, we could see the rooftop and the yes. decorations there. They were very nice. Mm. And yeah, you know, if you have good weather, they also do night tour. I'm not sure how this is different. Night tours, I mean, it, there are different fees. I mean, uh, during the day and during the night. I, I don't know. Yeah, they said it's something special. I think they do a projection or something. Yes, they had, yeah, they are also... Uh, La Pedra is also um, they are, they uh, are also a fundraising um, organization. If mm, you saw that, uh, so they do exhibitions there. Yes, exhibitions, fundraising. Yeah, I think they have a special room for there. So when we entered, there was like an exhibition for photography. I'm not sure from some. Yes, for yeah. a contest. Uh, yeah, something with portraits, but you black know, and white portraits. Yeah, something uh, in a specific style. Uh, they showed some different aspects of photography from a different artist. I think he was Spanish, but I'm not sure right now. I think he was right. And then... Yeah, and they suggested you can do the same. You should. If you want, you can uh, do a contest uh, with their specific hashtags and, you know, it should be um, portraits so black and white and something from the city, from Barcelona. So that was the main topic. And it was very nice because we can see the first floor. So the first floor, the first floor was full with this exhibition. Um, that was a different approach, I guess. Yeah, well, uh, it was quite uh, amazing. I mean, uh, quite modern the whole concept they even had an elevator <laughs> yeah that was very interesting because we went up and then we descended like every store uh, uh, every, every floor. floor and actually i'm not sure if the f no the first when we descended so the rooftop area and the first one below there was like um for with you know mm, memorable pieces from the building maybe yes. with Gaudi or something like this and then after that you saw the first apartment and actually the last one because there was no second <laughs> you can see yes yeah but it was interesting I mean if you remember the bathroom that was very yeah, interesting yeah the bathroom and well I, I love the kitchen so <laughs> <laughs> yeah so they had huge spaces and you know yeah, you could actually go from one to another so that was the idea especially in the 30s that you can communicate uh, on a deeper level with your neighbors and you can of actually course. visit very easily it was a different approach I guess with neighbors nowadays you don't know your neighbor and you don't talk to anybody yeah but so. back then it was uh, they were more bonded so yeah um, so probably everyone there was I think a member of the family the Mila, Mila yeah. the Mila family yes so probably they knew each other beforehand anyway so there was no problem with discussions and everything yeah, I mean the, <laughs> they uh, supported Gaudi and he made that he uh, projected this house so. yeah so that's it from us right now um I think we can stop here and yes, and uh, uh, it's just you know a, a short approach on Barcelona. This is the I'm the uh, first impression, so it was very good impression. So yeah. right now we just see people climbing over stairways because <laughs> they're going faster like this. Well, it's it's like a Barcelona weather, don't you think? I mean. Uh, yeah. I mean, a, a bit of a personal awareness. So. Yeah, they're very urban here, so <laughs> yes. you can go everywhere you want as, as long as you don't bother anybody. <laughs> yes, so uh, we'll, we'll come back with you with more stories yeah. about our uh, uh, adventures. Yeah, so. and our travels, and I hope you like this one. Okay, so uh, this is D. And this is Ri, and, and I'll see you soon. And I wish you a very nice evening. Take care. Bye. Cheers. Bye-bye.